And um, today, once again, I got another lesson here. I know I've been doing these lessons a lot, um, but you know, uh, kind of been short on time recently. Been doing a lot of stuff, um, and uh, yeah, I just want to get a video out. You know, I just I just want something. Um, you know, I want something out, you know, uh, when I have to do my own stuff, you know, it takes some time and sometimes it take like a day because, uh, you know, that's just something I got to work on with myself. Like I get, I guess you can say intimidated a little bit when I like, try to come with my own stuff. I'm like, okay, is this enough? Am I doing, I need to add more or, you know, but, um, you know, next time I actually have something I want to speak on uh, next video. Um, I'm just going to take my time with that. But I just want something out. You know, just so I have, um, you know, some more videos out. And, um, you know, make sure I talk about different things here. Right? So I'm going to talk about this one today. All right, Spirit Man, let me just talk to this one here. And you know, once again, using the King James website. Humility. All right, this is the topic. For day in my courts is better than a house, and I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my power than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. That's right. You know, that's humble spirit, King David had. You know, he'd rather be a doorkeeper than be in the tents of wickedness. You know? Um, verse 33. Uh, Proverbs 15, 33. For the Lord. Now, you know, the way he said that too, you know, we know in the kingdom of heaven, King David's not going to be a doorkeeper, but it's a figure of speech. Um, you know, he's going to have rulership. Right? He's going to be a king. Right right under Yahweh. Uh, Proverbs 15 33, the fear of the Lord is instruction of uh, wisdom, and before honor is humility. Right, so for to the Lord's instruction of wisdom, right? God's gonna instruct you on wisdom, right? How to gain wisdom. But your um, wisdom is pretty much the application and the way you use knowledge, you know, goes with learning, which is you know, gathering of raw information. You consolidate raw information in the form of knowledge. You begin to, you know, learn how to use that knowledge in the form of wisdom. And then understanding is just a more complete form of uh, wisdom, but wisdom and understanding can be uh, used interchangeably. They're, they're used as a figure of speech and used interchangeably. Uh, when you read the book of Proverbs, uh, and before honor is humility, so before you reach the honor, dignity, splendor, and you gotta be humble first. Um, that's right. Um, I think some of these I may have spoke on. Yeah, there's some of these are also in the pride. Because I, I did a lesson on pride. Um, what the fuck? I dropped my phone by accident. I just dropped it on my lap. Um, uh, so I talked about a few of these before, but that's good. You know, if I talk about them enough times, maybe I'll uh, low on remember them. I can't if someone comes up and uh, remember them, but if someone comes up on some weird stuff or starts trying to say some weird stuff, I'll probably just get Proverbs 13, 13 on them. Proverbs 18, 12, before destruction, the heart of the man is, the heart of man is haughty, before honor is humility. It's the same thing. I talked about this before. I think I talked about the um, Stoics and the... Um, Epicureans. I may do a lesson on that too sometime. I do some research, but um, I want to talk about something. Um, I found some scripture about the cistern, like drink out of your own cistern, and I found some stuff about the cistern. It's like a whole like historical site about it, and I want to talk about that. Um, and tie that into another one, another scripture that I have uh, 
uh, read on. Well, I, I do one thing at a time, you know. Sometimes I get so bogged down by like, oh, I'm gonna talk about this and that and that and this that I just like, I, oh, hold on here. And it's fun to balance here, so just do one thing at a time. You know, the whole thing's be done decently and in order. And I think with this one, right, I talked about the Epicureans and the Stoics. So the Epicureans, it's not really a good one. Because the Epicureans, they were, they were technically about balance, but they were more about, like, like don't, hold, don't withhold pleasure from yourself, but still, like, have some sort of balance and virtue. Something like pleasure is the virtue or something like that, but um, they they were balanced. I think what what you know people really mean is a stoic, and then like the opposite of a stoic is like this like someone's like let me see here, someone was like hedonistic. Yeah, it was like into hedonism, like the elites. The elites are they go back to um you know Sabbatai Zevi, uh, Sabbatianism. When I say Sabbatianism, I don't mean like the Ishmaelites or, you know, those peoples. I mean like coming out of the ways of Sabbatai Zevi. Um, if you look that up on the internet, uh, it's like S-A-B-B-A-T-A-I-Z-E-V-E-V-I. And look that up on like BitChute or something and you'll find like a long list of things that'll... Um, lace you up on who this Sabbatai guy is and what's this whole story about um, which you should look into that because you know I think it's pretty important and I constantly mention him so uh, you know if you're like oh, what was that guy talking about what was, he, what was that what was that brother always talking about just google him you know so Act 318 the greater thou art the more humble thyself and thou shalt find favor before the Lord alright so that's what you gotta do. Yeah, you gotta humble yourself, no matter what, so you find the favor before the Lord. You know, I'm gonna find this. Um, and, um, uh, hold on, GNT. The greater you become, the more humble you should be. That's right. Yeah, the elders are humble. Yeah. They'd be the ones that they be saying, you know, if you, you tell me I'm wrong and you can prove it, then shit will say we're wrong, you know. And there were certain things the elders had to change, you know, like the whole star thing. You know, that thing, you know, went out, they found out things, things changed, you know. It's just, you know, it's just the way it is. They got humility. And they're meant to be that example, you know. I'm thinking of something else. In the scripture, let the elders be counted. I'll just say that one. Let the elders be counted. They were worthy double honors. So obviously double honors and stuff. Um, um, I'm going to see this one. This one right here is kind of interesting. So Acts 17 and 17. Uh, 17, 7 and 17. That's 7. Verse 17, so it's Acts 7 and 17, be very humble. Let's read this first, Acts 7 and 17, humble thyself greatly for the vengeance of ungodly is fire and worms. This is GNT version. Um, be very humble because de the decay of death awaits us all. Well, that's true. Let's look at a different translation. Uh, let's see what else. What else you got? Um, give me a second. Find this here. So Acts seven seventeen, contemporary English version. So be as humble as you can, because those who are on God will be eaten by worms and burned by fire. You know, that's actually, you know, that, that's actually going to happen, going to the scripture. So, you know, I could actually, um, I don't know why I didn't, uh, well, you know, low-key, I could kind of just, you know, 
dump that in there and you know oh oh shit oh shit I done did it now okay no problem um you know that stuff right there is literal you know so technically that would be it cause they'll literally be destroyed by fire you know yeah and they're uh, you know, the birds are gonna pick them off and stuff like that you know yeah it's gonna be rough out here man yeah, leading up to you know World War 3 and um you know so on and so forth Jigger's Trouble which is gonna come before World War 3 it's right 19 and 24 he that have small understanding and fear the most high is better than one that has much wisdom and transgresses the law of the most high. Yeah, that's right. So, it's better to have small understanding and fear the most high than to be one that has much wisdom and true rest of the law of the most high. Now, in terms of carnal wisdom, you have a lot of people who are you know, very so called intelligent, even though their wisdom is, you know, it's bullshit, right? But people that are like, um, <sighs> Let me see how I want to word this. Let's say people that work for like NASA, like NASA scientists and shit like that, right? Guys that study like Arrow. Motherfucker, man. Come on. Come, come on. Okay. People that study like aerodynamics and shit like that. Um, you know, they're going off. You know? Well, okay, maybe not that. Well, I mean, that stuff is off, but. Uh, that's not really a good example. Cause I mean, if you worked there, you worked there. Uh, but you know the people in there, you know. I mean, unless you have a brother that works at NASA, then you know that's just a job. But those people that work at NASA, you know, I mean, they're just random people. You know, they're not all jeeks working at NASA stuff, and they're not you know following the law and stuff. I guess that works. Um, Say like politicians too. Let's say like in deletes, right? These people they they've gone to, you know, you know, very high ranking institutions and stuff, and they've went to the Ivy League schools and whatever, and had the best education and whatever. But they they just go against the law, man. You know, I'm just speaking generally here, cause you know, they lie, they cheat. Um, in terms of cheat, I mean, you know. Well, I mean, they do commit adultery and whatever, but they do, like, all kinds of, you know, fucked up stuff um, to get where they are. You know, like, spying on each other and stuff like that. That stuff is all real. Um, you know. I don't know where I'm trying to go with this. I'm going to move on, man. Um, you get my point. Blessed the meek for they show on the earth, right? So that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'll read this last one from Matthew 18 3. Uh, really, since you accept you be converted, it becomes all children you should enter to the kingdom of heaven. All right? So you be converted. All right, so it's dreadful. Turn around, turn to oneself, reverse, turn back. And that's right, because uh, the scripture says, um, uh, bring your mind back into remembrance, though you once knew this. Yeah, so you gotta like, turn back Come as little children I'm not mean to be like Actually like children It doesn't mean that There's this another one in John That kind of explains it too But You basically gotta like Relearn everything You gotta like start from like Scratch like Oh okay so Like basically like, Everything that you've been taught In this world You learn is like Untrue You know like you may have had, like, a father who told you, oh, yeah, it's all right to sleep with, you know, a woman that's already dealing with a man. But then you learn, like, oh, that, yeah, you're not supposed to do that. Or you may have grown up listening to, like, you know, these certain kinds of, like, um, okay, maybe not that one. Because music is, you, know, you don't want to be all righteous, but so you grow up to listening to like certain kinds of like music and stuff, but then you learn that like, okay, like the certain stuff has a bad vibration and you learn that like other stuff is like, um, 
but you, you learn to like listen to it more closely you know not to get on brothers for um you know, just for like liking the song you know what i mean but you, know, you learn certain things you really shouldn't be listening to you know there are certain things you shouldn't be listening to I'm like i'm gonna stand by that like a lot of songs that that dudes rap about committing adultery like you know that stuff is no good man you know i i can't stand that kind of music man um but uh i said i'm gonna stand i'm gonna stand on that one man you know they had a lot of fucking songs like that which just do it rapping about adultery the entire time it's like bro like what the fuck these fucking love songs and your shit it's like that's not love bro <laughs> that's fucking evil you know um Man, I might as well finish it. Homeless self in three. If I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, I have to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but I think soberly. But it's the most I have dealt to every man in the measure of faith. Alright. Give unto you every man that is among you, right? Don't think of yourself too high. The more higher than he ought to think, but think soberly, right? In other words, right? I mean, you can say what well, alcohol, but it really just means, you know, think with your mind free from error. You know what I mean? Think, think clearly. It's really like more like a metaphor. You know, like stay sober minded. Things like that, like you could apply that to alcohol, but it's not off to drink alcohol. It's more like, you know, don't be engaged in all these different philosophies and things like that and you know this and that and, and as i said before be free from error right um of course the most i dealt to every man the measure of favor because every man has his own measure of faith every man has his own you know measure and his different series talks about how like you know some are teachers some are prophets some are um evangelists and stuff like that i don't think it says evangelists but we're all evangelists but um yeah, yeah, yeah. Brothers that do all kinds of things. Like, guess certain brothers that like to defend the gospel a lot. You get some brothers that get deep into the history. You got brothers that do all kinds of things. Um, you know, I, I used to get real deep into the history, but you know, I, I started to branch out, and I like to do, I like to do everything. You know, I like to do everything. I've been messing with. Um, these lessons a lot now because it's like i'm getting to see different things here and these are a lot of no um, scripts i haven't read in a minute second Corinthians 12 and 7 unless i should be exalted above measure to the abundance of the revelation still is given to me a thorn in the flesh the messenger seen to buff me lest i should be exalted above measure as where paul actually had that he had uh, some health issues i remember reading about that you know, once again, going back to humility, right? Lest I should be exalted above measure. Um, verse James 4 and 6, but give it more grace before you see it. And so resist the proud, but give grace unto the humble. That's right. Resist the proud, but give it grace unto the humble. Right? That grace, graciousness. Goodwill, loving kindness, favor. You know, get the grace. You know, uh, mercy, man. Merciful kindness. You know, all that. You know, where if you do go off, you have that grace. Where the Lord isn't gonna, you know, totally fucking, you know, the Lord is gonna destroy you. It's gonna, let me see, fucking, but the Lord is gonna destroy you, man. Is it gonna, you know, uh, you know, fuck you up. Um, so on and so forth. Um, you know, but this gives like, you're not supposed to, you know, abuse it. You know, different things do we sin because of the grace. Most I forbid. So don't, don't abuse it. But yeah, that was it. You know, a little, a little late here. So, brain's a little, you know, shut down and stuff. But, you know, you know, I wasn't really having the best of days. Just wanted to post. I wanted to get something out there. You know, 
Make sure I keep speaking on things, but that's a shalom.